Hey there lovelies, my name is Mamta and welcome to my channel Geek Glitz in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. I make all sorts of videos but mainly Harry Potter so feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So today I've got my very first video of 2021 so happy new year guys and I have got an exciting video today because I am going to be reviewing some Monte Grappa Harry Potter items. So if you recall last year I bought a Monte Grappa Harry Potter fountain pen and this is a Hogwarts themed fountain pen. I did a whole review video on it, which I will link to below if you guys wanted to check it out. So this was my first time ever using a fountain pen and I had been thinking of getting into it for a while and I decided to just take the plunge and go for a Hogwarts themed Harry Potter fountain pen and it's been such a joy to use these last few months. So to further enjoy my Harry Potter fountain pen, Monty Grappa very kindly sent me a couple of inks to review. They have a Harry Potter line of inks over here. There are six of them, which I will be getting into in detail. And they also sent me a little fountain pen pouch, which is so cute. So thank you very much to Monte Grappa. I am so excited about all these items. And for today's video, what I am going to be doing is I will be reviewing these inks. So I will show you a little color test to give you guys a feel of what kind of colors there are with these inks and how they work. And also I will be showing you the fountain pen pouch in detail so I am coming at this as a Harry Potter fan so not really a fountain pen expert so do bear with me as I may not have as much knowledge about inks as maybe other people who are experts with fountain pen so what I figured I would do is to show you guys a little color ink test using these different inks so I will be doing some doodling some drawing some quote writing as well as doing a planner page because since it is the new year using a fountain pen along with some gorgeous inks is a great great idea for a planner. So let me go ahead and get started. And first up, I want to show you guys the box for the Harry Potter inks. So here is one of the ink boxes and it is in a gorgeous blue color. And the background pattern of this box is kind of like a checkered flag pattern. And I think it's mainly Gryffindor themed elements because there's like the lion for Gryffindor and there's like crowns as well plus some uh, checkered elements. And then there's a Hogwarts crest, it says Harry Potter, and a yellow splatter. And then the side of the box actually gives you the ID or the model number and it says HP ink bottle 50 ml Ravenclaw blue. So each of the colors that I'm going to be showing you today, each of the ink bottles are 50 ml and they're in various colors. Then the back of the box says one ink bottle 50 ml and then we've got the copyright information on the other side of the box. And the top says Monte Grappa and it's pretty easy to open. And inside when you open it up, you could see the ink bottle. So the very top of the ink bottle has a gold cap and the Hogwarts crest. So I've gotten the ink bottle out of the box so that we could take a look. So like I said, gold cap with a white Hogwarts crest. And then there's a label here. It says Ravenclaw blue. It says Monte Grappa and Harry Potter. And you can actually make out the ink tone a bit. It, it does look a bit dark on video, but it is definitely a blue shade. So the other colors are Thestral Black, Hufflepuff Yellow, Slytherin Green, Gryffindor Red, and Nightbus Purple. So I've gone ahead and gotten out all six of the ink bottles out of their boxes. Inside the boxes, they do come sealed in plastic to keep them secure, but I've removed all the plastic so that we can dig right in so that I could do the ink color tests. So I'm going to start off with the Slytherin Green bottle, which is a gorgeous shade of green. It's kind of hard to make out, but it is definitely a shade of green. So I did a quick cotton swab ink test using a cotton swab and dipping it inside the Slytherin green fountain ink and then swabbing it across an index card. And then I wrote out Slytherin green on the top using my Hogwarts fountain pen, which has a fine nib. So I wrote out a Albus Dumbledore quote saying it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live using the Slytherin green ink. I'm going to be doing this quote with each of the different inks so that we could compare. And I'm also drawing a little Slytherin locket with the Slytherin green ink inside my bullet 
bullet journal. So the green ink gives me Draco or Snape vibes, maybe even Lord Voldemort. So that's why I think it's perfect to draw the Slytherin locket. So next up, I've got Gryffindor red, which is basically a dark red ink. You can kind of see it through the bottle. And this one is totally giving me Howler vibes. Like I could see Mrs. Weasley writing Ron a Howler with this ink for sure. And here is the Gryffindor red swatch card that I made. So you can see it's kind of like a dark red, almost kind of maroonish too. And that is the cotton swab on the bottom. And then on the top, it's written with a fine point nib and it says Gryffindor red. So I'm going to go ahead and write this Dumbledore quote with the red ink too, so that we can compare the green versus the red. And I'm also going to draw a little Hogwarts letter in the Gryffindor red ink next to the Slytherin locket inside my planner. So next up is Ravenclaw blue, which I did show you guys before earlier in the video. So this is a dark blue shade and this one really speaks to me because I am a Ravenclaw. And here is the Ravenclaw blue swatch card so you can see the cotton swab test on the bottom and the pen test on the top with the fine point nib. And this blue is not royal blue which is what I was expecting. It's kind of like a dark blue that's almost kind of got a hue of green on it like almost kind of teal blue either way it's a gorgeous shade so i'm going to continue with my quote test so that you guys can see how it writes and i'm also going to do a little doodle of some spectra specs in this ravenclaw blue ink inside my bullet journal and next up i've got hufflepuff yellow which makes the last of the hogwarts house themed ink bottles so this one the ink color is very obvious it's so transparent so it's kind of like a yellowy orange almost so this is really beautiful it's like a dark yellow color and i mean it kind of gives me felix felice's vibes so here is the Hufflepuff yellow swatch and it's a very light yellow, especially when you write it out with the fine point nib on the top, it's kind of light to see. But in the cotton swab test, you can see that it can be, it can get pretty dark and it can go all the way down to a lighter yellow. So I think with a nib that's like a medium or even a broad or flex, you would be able to get that darker shade of yellow color more. But I'm going to go ahead and continue my quote test with my fine point nib on my Hogwarts fountain pen by Monte Grappa. And I'm also going to draw a little golden snitch inside my planner because this yellow shade is perfect for a golden snitch. And next up, I've got Thestral Black Ink, which is great. It's a good old black ink, which is common and versatile and perfect for all kinds of uses. So I'm going to be using this a lot for my different journals. And here I've got the swatch card for it. So Thestral Black written with the fountain pen on the top with a fine nib and then a cotton swab test on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do my written quote test with the Thestral Black Ink so that we can compare it to the other inks so far. And then I'm also going to use this black ink to make Harry's glasses as a shape inside my planner. And finally, the last ink bottle is Night Bus Purple. And this one is a gorgeous shade of purple. It's actually my favorite of all of the inks. I just love the color on this. And it really feels like something that Dumbledore would use. So here is the Night Bus Purple swatch card with a fine point nib on the top and a cotton swab test on the bottom. And I'm going to use the Night Bus Purple ink with my fine point nib on my Hogwarts fountain pen by Monte Grappa to write the quote, It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. And now we can compare all six fountain ink colors and my favorite is still the purple. And then I'm going to use the Night Bus Purple ink to write out the days of January inside the bullet journal. So this page basically uses all six of the inks and it is a January month page. It's got Harry's glasses and on the right lens it's got the days of January. And then on the left lens, it's using the house colored inks to make some doodles that are related to the Hogwarts houses in some way or another. So here are all six of the Monte Grappa Harry Potter fountain pen inks, which have been really fun to play with. And they're described as having medium light fastness without feathering with reduced bleed, vegan friendly, non waterproof, blended for artistic effect. 
and they each retail for 25 euros on the Monte Grappa website and I will link to them below in my description if you guys were interested in checking them out. At the beginning of this video, I also teased this fountain pen pouch that the kind team over at Monte Grappa sent me. So here is the case that it comes in and I got the Harry Potter pen pouch in brown. So this color is a brown owl. So there is a warranty card over here that comes with details to put your warranty. And then you can unwrap the tissue and it is a brown pouch for the fountain pen, which is so gorgeous. So this is made of genuine leather and it's basically embossed with the Hogwarts crest over here as well as the Hogwarts house animals throughout this pouch. It's a very fine quality. You can tell with the way it's been stitched as well. And on the back it says Harry Potter and Monte Grappa. And then the front of the pouch you can basically pull this up. And over here it says a genuine leather made in Italy. And this is where you would slip in your pen. So let me go ahead and do that. So I've got my Hogwarts Monte Grappa fountain pen which fits perfectly in here. And I can go ahead and close this flap up and then carry around this brown pouch with my pen with me. So this is available in two colors, a brown owl color, which is this brown color, as well as a cauldron black color, which is a black color. And this one retails for 175 euros. The pouch retails for that. And the fountain pen, the Hogwarts fountain pen, which I bought last year, retails for 370 euros. So I hope you guys enjoyed this close look at some of the Monte Grappa Harry Potter items. I really enjoyed testing out these different colored inks. They are such beautiful colors and they're really perfect for planning. I had a great time putting together my little planner page and I absolutely love this brown leather pouch too. I think it's very pretty and just made of such great quality. I will be linking to everything below down in my description in case you guys were interested in any of these items and do let me know below in the comments what you guys thought of these items which of these ink colors was your favorite and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel geek glitz for more things geek and more things glitz and make sure to hit that notification bell to be informed when my new videos are up and feel free to connect with me on any of my social media i've listed them down below in the description I've got a facebook twitter and instagram so come say hello as I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye.